Hey, what's going on guys? Military Arsenal. This is my Ruger Mini 14 Ranch Rifle. This is chambered in 223. Uh, I've had this rifle for about four years now. I bought it back in 2008. Uh, this was my first semi-automatic rifle and it's an excellent rifle. Uh, it's a good alternative if you're looking for an AR-15 and you can't really afford one because AR-15s are pretty expensive. This is about almost half the price of an AR-15. Uh, I got this one for $600. It was like $604 and then with tax it was a little bit more. I actually got this rifle at Walmart. Um, like I said, 223. It came with a 10 round magazine and I replaced it with a 30 round magazine. Uh, I have two 30 round magazines. Uh, I probably should get a few more of them but my standard uh, semi-automatic rifle is an AR-15 so in terms of talking up on magazines I only focus on the AR-15 magazines but this is just nice to have just to shoot it at the range um, now these are, these magazines are not made by Ruger uh, this one is a no name and I also have a pro mag they work alright the, they're about half the price of Ruger magazines you know Ruger magazines are like 40 or 60 bucks and that's really expensive um, now this is the Ruger Mini 14 and the reason it's called the Mini 14 is because it resembles the M14 it's like a miniature version of it it's kinda like a carbine okay it has the same action as the M1 Grand and the M14 it's a rotating bolt with an operating rod very good design um, this design was created in like 1930 something like in the 1930s by John Grand uh, very proven design successful in World War II Korea it was used in Vietnam by the M14 and the M1 Grand and then in the 70s Ruger came out with this rifle and they adopted the Grand Action and it works great now you have your little bolt lock right here so when there's no magazine in the rifle you pull your um, operating rod back then you push this little button and that'll lock the bolt and operating rod back very good action uh, it has your traditional peep sight you got a little circle right here and then you, you just put your front sight in the center of the circle put it on target and you should hit the target. Uh, this rifle is very accurate. I know that the Mini 14s from like the 70s and 80s and maybe even the 90s had a reputation of being very inaccurate. Uh, and that might have been true. I've never owned one of those. But this is a modern Ruger Ranch rifle. Uh, the barrel's a little bit thicker on it. And I think they improved some of the internal designs just to make it a little bit more accurate. Uh, this rifle is very accurate. I can put very nice groups together with it. Even if I rapid fire it and then bench it, it's still very accurate. Now they sell things called Accus Truts. It's a strut that you clamp onto the barrel and it attaches right here. And that keeps the barrel stabilized whenever it's really hot. It's supposed to make it a little bit more accurate. I never went down that road, but it does make the rifle look kind of nice. It kind of makes it look more like an M14 because the M14 had that uh, gas tube that was extended to about like right there. Um, if you notice, this has a flash hider front sight. I got that off of Midway USA for like 50 bucks about two years ago. This rifle came with your factory front end cap with the front sight. The front sight was attached to the cap and it just slid on the barrel and I think it had a roll pin. Uh, I took that off I slid this on, it was a very tight fit, and then on the bottom there's an Allen screw that you tighten up against the barrel and that keeps this rock solid. If you wanted to, you could drill through these two holes right here and put roll pins just to make it more stable, but this is fine the way it is. I've rapid fired this and it, it does not move at all, so it's not, it's not going anywhere. And I also put a little bit of Loctite on that uh, Allen screw. But I think the front side makes it look really nice, you know, with the flash hider. It's like a 
M16A2 flash hider. That's what it kind of resembles. But the front sight is part of it. Okay. The heat shield is a plastic and it has uh, the uh, metal shield under the uh, plastic so it uh, resists the heat. Okay, now this has the wooden stock on it. I know you can get them in the polymer stocks, the black stocks. Uh, you can get this in the uh, stainless or you can get it in blued. Um, they also come with shorter barrels. The one I have right here is the standard barrel length, but they also come with shorter barrels. And they come with these flash hiders from the factory. But this one, it was just a standard Mini 14, so I had to update it myself. Um, the safety is just like on an M1 Grand or an M14. It's right here by the trigger guard. You push forward for fire, and when it's inside the trigger guard, it's on safe. The magazine release is identical to the M14. When you put the magazine in, you got to go in at an angle and then just snap it in like that. And then to release it, you got a little tab, you push on it and rotate it out. Very simple. Okay, it has scope mounts, which is nice. I'm not sure if the original Mini 14s came with scope mounts, but the newer ones do. So if you want to put a scope on it, you already have the scope mount for it. Actually, it came with the scope mount rings, so that's nice. I think they said that's like a 60 or $80 value, so it comes with it. Uh, disassembly is very simple. It's just like you would disassemble an M14. All you do is pull up on your trigger guard, pull out your uh, uh, trigger housing group, and then you just take this talk off the receiver and the barrel and you can field strip it very easily. I'll do a separate video on that. Uh, it can be a pain in the butt to get the bolt back in once you take it out. You have to do it a certain way. It took me a pretty long time to figure it out. First time I took this apart I was struggling with it to get it back together and I was really upset. But once you figure it out it's not bad. The uh, butt of this talk has uh, rubber on it. It's real comfortable. It's got your Ruger logo. Very fun to shoot. Uh, I'm told that you can shoot 5.56 through this, but I recently heard that people were having trouble with uh, the 5.56 rounds eventually damaging the gun. Uh, I just shoot 223 through it. Uh, in terms of 556, the only gun I shoot that out of is the AR15. You know, it's tamped 223 on the receiver, so I would just shoot 223 through it. Unless it's actually tamped 556, I would just shoot 223. All right. Uh, very reliable. I've never had this gun jam on me. Uh, it's a great action. I love this action. It looks awesome too. Okay, and like I said, if you guys are looking for a semi-automatic rifle in 223, and you're looking at an AR-15, but you you really can't afford it, this is a great alternative. You know, it's lightweight. It's a carbine. It can take 30-round magazines. Uh, the recoil is not bad at all. It's a great alternative to an AR-15. It really is. Um, and it's more of a traditional rifle too. If you don't like, you know, the modern tactical look of these modern sporting rifles like the AR-15, you can go with the Mini-14. It's a little bit more traditional, you know, it looks more traditional like your M-14 or your M-1A. The M-1A is a semi-automatic M-14. But I, I remember back in the day I always wanted to have one of these because I just thought it was so awesome. You know, I'm a big fan of the M14, and this is like a carbine version of it. You know, you got the M1 Grand and the M1 Carbine, and then you got the M14, and then this is pretty much the carbine of the M14. It's called the Mini 14. It's a great rifle. It's a blast to shoot. Very fun to shoot. I love it. Okay. Uh, when I first got this gun, 
I was having trouble with the finish. For some reason it was rusting a lot and I couldn't figure out why it was rusting so much. I think my house has a lot of moisture in it but none of my other guns were rusting except this one and this was going on for like seven months so I got so fed up with it I called Ruger and I sent the gun back to them and they took the old finish off of it and refinished it for free. They put, actually they put a few uh, parts concerning the gas system in it. They gave me a new heat shield because I cracked mine when I took it out. I never even asked them to replace that. They did it on their own. Uh, they paid for the shipping of it and they fixed it for free and it was only gone for about a week. So R Ruger has excellent customer service. Excellent customer service. But there it is, the Ruger Mini 14. The serial number starts with a 580. So I think that's your modern uh, serial number. But it's an excellent rifle. It's very comfortable. Uh, I love it. And like I said, you can also get these from Ruger with the black plastic stock and the shorter barrel that already has the flash hider in it. Um, and you can also get it in stainless. But I think the prices are going up a little bit from when I got it. Uh, th these might be going for about 700 now. I'm not too sure. I haven't been really paying attention to the prices. But uh, it's an excellent rifle for anybody that's into these kind of rifles. Now, e even if you live in like the country and you know you have a farm and you need a rifle just to throw in your car or your truck, uh, this is a great choice. Uh, it would be a good gun to shoot, you know, coyotes with if you're having trouble with them. Uh, excellent all all around gun. Uh, I have no complaints about it. It's excellent. So there you go. That's the Ruger Mini 14, and it was my first semi-automatic rifle, and I love it. So uh, I, I want to say thanks to all you guys that are subscribing to me. Uh, like I said, I had to start all over with this channel. I had a channel before the weaponry channel and I was having some trouble with YouTube they were restricting some of my a lot of my options in terms of uploading videos and it kinda got to the point where it was like not even worth having the channel so I created this one and I just want to say thanks to everybody that came over and subscribed to me um, I think I'm at like 420 subscribers <clears throat> so I just want to say thanks for the support and thanks for watching I appreciate it a lot so, until later, I'll see you guys soon. Take care.